And like that you go on and on and on until you reach a point which is a zero. Then only can you say, I am not the body. Then only can you say, I am not the mind. And when you say, I am not the body, and I am not the mind, there again you go on and on and on, asking yourself, who is saying this? But I am not the body. Look, I can touch, feel, smell, taste, go to bed and make love, go to the toilet, Is the body then not functional? Of course it is functional. Then why do I deny the body? I deny the body because I feel within myself, or rather some force is feeling within myself that I am far beyond the body and the mind. Now the greatest mistake that has been made or is being made by various theologies is the denial of the body and mind. Let's look at it from a different angle. Do not deny this body. Do not deny this mind. And do not deny that which cognizes the body and the mind. So, how are you dealing with yourself then? Hmm? We're still going to come to the cognitive factor. But at this moment, how do you stand? You stand in the position of saying, my body exists, my mind exists, and the cognitive factor also exists, so therefore I am existence, and being existing, I can deny nothing, for I am that I am. Now, let's perform some operations. Any volunteers? I'll cut you up into pieces. I'll put your body there, your mind there, and your cognitive self there. Hmm? Uh, get hold of a knife for me, please. <laughs> there is no differentiation between your body and your mind and your cognitive self. The I that cognizes the very existence of this body and this mind is thought forms, to which we can call the ego self that is forever trying to preserve itself in the cognitive factors of saying, I am this handsome guru. <laughs> that I am this brilliant brain and the spiritual giant. Who's saying that? That stupid ego self. Now, what is the ego worth? The ego is worth nothing because it is just a formation of patterns which you have superimposed upon yourself through the various experiences that you have gone through and that has left impressions. And those impressions is that which we call the ego. Now, 
I put my hand on this table and I remove this hand. But an imprint is there. So the hand is not there anymore. But an impression or an imprint of the hand is existing on this table. Get out your magnifying glass and you'll see it. What a reality is there in this imprint? This very imprint that cognizes me as a body, this very imprint that cognizes me as a mind. So my body and mind is totally dependent upon that imprint. And yet, what is the reality of this imprint? Nil. It's an impression created through patternings of experiences. So now, if I deny this imprint, or if I do not attach value to this imprint, in bringing about the recognitions of the existence of this body and this mind, then I am basing to the soul.